Okay. Panic. Don't panic. Get out of here. That's... Oh, no. This is the boarded up house. Yep. That's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. You see, it all started about 25 minutes ago when I decided to get good at Project Zomboid. Welcome in, everyone. My name is Das Life, and I have a confession to make. I am a player in training when it comes to Project Zomboid. What is a player in training? Well, a player in training to me means I'm trying to get good. I can live, let's call it a month in the game without too much trouble. But I want to get good. I want to be able to... Oh, I'm going to grab this margarine. Maybe these strawberries too before they go bad. Let's pause real quick here. Interested in seeing my player stats. And this is what I wanted to show you at the moment is what we are. We have thin skinned, high thirst, we're a slow healer, we're conspicuous, prone to illness, a smoker, weak stomach, and short sighted. We're also unfortunately a slow reader. Now we start off as a burglar and I like the burglar trait because of the additional nimble skills that come with it. It's very difficult to skill up. I've added cat's eyes, a little bit easier when you're recording to see. Dexterous, uh, these are both worth two points. Outdoorsman, which helps with the weak stomach trait that I have. I'm wakeful. I really appreciate the longer life in the game, that you're the longer gameplay, because you get to play without the sleepy buff or the sleepy debuff coming in. Gymnast, again, the nimble trait. Keen hearing, very, very helpful to hear what's happening. Fit, because I absolutely despise having to exercise in the game. I like a strong character as well because you can carry more gear and I am absolutely a loot goblin in this game. Plus, I believe you can do more damage. Uh, I'm using the mod more descriptions for traits so you can see it does 40% additional melee damage. And I'm underweight uh, as the final debuff and that means that starting at 70 units and I can eat a lot of food very early on, take advantage of all the ice cream that's in the game, and keep going. Again, hitting pause gives you a moment to take a look at what's around. This works in single player, obviously, but not in multiplayer. That gives me a chance to see, ah, yes, I want that rolling pan. I'm going to bring it over. That's a good early weapon. Uh, can opener. I feel like I'm extremely lucky to get the can opener early game and a meat cleaver. Again, at this point, I'll take anything I can and this tumbler because I need to carry some water around. So let's hit F2 and see if all of that transfers over. Excellent. Now, I don't tend to do this F2 thing very often, but very early when I'm trying to get my bearings, it helps quite a bit. I'm not going to bother with the cans and the canned food here because I know I'll be able to find lots of food as we go, and I'm just about to eat a whole tub of margarine. Mm -hmm. And I've got a rolling pin, so let's attach that to our back. I'll save those strawberries for later. Let's take a quick look. What's in the what's in here? Nothing. I'm not going to worry about the tweezers. I don't think I'm going to need those. I've already checked. I believe this room where we spawned. In here, let's see. Is there anything? else. I'm going to grab, I'm grabbing these newspapers and magazines because I have the smoker trait and it might be a little bit until I get everything that might help me manage my anxiety. And so taking that stress down just a little bit is going to help. Let's take a quick peek at the map. And again, I don't know Muldra very well, but I think I generally am somewhere near the trailer park. So, oh, I forgot. I just realized I forgot to fill, forgot to get a drink and to fill my drinks with water. So let's fill that. Let's, I'm going to drink first. I'm going to fill this tumbler. Now, if I had anything else to carry water, I certainly would grab it because we have the thirsty, the high thirst trait. Now, let's see. We got a visitor over here. Maybe we can get. 
didn't see a watch. Well, they have a watch in their wrist. Maybe they'd be worth it. Let's come back out here. Let's finish him off. Push him down. I'm going to try to preserve my, my rolling pin. Let's take a look. Alex style dress watch. This is my favorite watch. So we got lucky off the bat with a watch. Anything else? Ooh. That looks interesting. Seeing that ambulance is almost a guaranteed bag. So the trunk of ambulances are a reliable source of duffel bags and medical equipment. But at this stage of the game, the medical equipment is a is a bonus. I am, after all, a loot goblin. Let's let them come over to me. Right now, they're coming one at a time. I think this is perfect. And I'm just giving a quick... Ooh, an ambulance key. Now, I, again, I don't know... I didn't put that in my key. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to use that ambulance key. It's in a wreck. I probably won't, but I'm not going to say no to it either. Guess we'll check this trunk out first. Empty bottle. Excellent. Again, push down Mr. Coveralls. That trunk is locked. We've got the key. It does not appear like it's going to be a vehicle we're going to want to drive. Oh, it's got a patient. Well, I'm not exactly giving it the best care. Let's take a look what's inside. One bag. Hey, I will take it. I will take it. Let's go ahead and equip it instantly. And let's see, what do we have in there? Some alcohol wipes. I'm going to add the beta blockers, more alcohol wipes, and painkillers. That's, really, that's really quite helpful. I'm also going to check the glove compartment of this to see if there's anything else in there. Quick scroll, annotate a map. Never hurts. Although... I haven't lived long enough to really take advantage of those maps. Now, something I really would like to try to remember doing. Oh, look, we've got this an ambulance key and an ambulance key. So we got we got double keyed in this one. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab that bandage and got a pen. Go ahead and grab. I don't know if that might be an extra or not. So something I am. Oh. Look at this. There is gas. There is quite a bit of gas in this. I've just noticed down here. But the vehicle itself is in poor shape. So maybe we'll come back and siphon some gas out of this later if we want to. But what I'm mostly interested in is taking a look at the radio station and seeing if we happen to have the emergency broadcast and we don't have anything in here. So at this point, I think I would be be a poor decision to pop in and drive that. I don't really know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Let me see if I can get into this vehicle. I'll check its radio out, pressing V as the default to open up these menus. And do we have emergency broadcast? We do not. Let's let's get out of this vehicle. We have another we have another visitor, another patient. Let's go ahead and use our let's save our shoes for a minute. Let's get some short blunt skills going. Now, making note of this high wall, I don't know what's on the other side of it, but it might help quite a bit if things get dangerous. Now, my general approach is to go ahead and fight a few. I probably should be walking around and exploring more. So let me know in the comments how you would handle this and uh, let me know what I'm doing wrong. Basically. We'll just do a little... Do a little conga line juggling. Now, this is why I like the nimble and to start with a character that's high nimble. 
is it makes this juggling. We are in standard apocalypse mode, so you can't do multi-hit. And it's easy to get overwhelmed and to have to disengage, build some distance, walk away, and I am just never very good at remembering to do that, so I like the nimble nimble fitness strength all of these to me translate into life in the game this one's locked this looks like a decent van fortunately unless i happen to come across a key i'm going to need to damage a window to get in and i'm going to do exactly that Oh, it also has gas in it. I can siphon some gas out of this. Now, remember, we are a burglar, so we could, could in theory, hotwire this vehicle. Let's uh, just hit Z to jump over to the other seat. Take a look at... Now, I, I find that I'm not good at actually hotwiring, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, my early stage, I, I rarely am successful at hot wiring the vehicle, and I don't know if that's something that you have to build up in the game. Empty gas can. Uh, it's good to remember. I, now I'm going to bring the map up, and I want to make a quick notation for myself that this was my spawn, and that over here, well, actually, maybe this was the spawn. I think I crossed the street. I can't remember. One of these is spawn, so maybe I will... Uh, I'll just have to hope. It's one of those. It'll be close enough. And for me, I'm going to make a note that I've got a potential vehicle right here. Now, I have some map mods on that allow me to get... gives me the more map sim symbols and allows you to resize them. Also have it so that you can draw on the map. My favorite mod, though, the one that... Most of these are quality of life mods. This down here in the bottom left corner, be able to quickly give you a visual indication of your stats. Very, very helpful. And also very challenging once you get used to it to play without it. Hey, look at all this. We got some... Remember, we are trying to, uh, trying to eat a lot, so let's jump straight into this ice cream we need to get our we need to get our weight going high double ice cream I'll go ahead and bring this over eat that again here in a moment what do we have over here ah oh, corn dogs see this is in real life I'm this is exactly the sort of thing that I would want to loot I'm not gonna worry about the canned foods. But these water bottles, precious. Okay, in fact, let me... Let's see what we have in here. Chocolate covered coffee beans. Actually, that is helpful, because I think those will help you stay awake. Pasta takes up too much encumbrance. These bags, I like to come back to later if I'm farming, because they are great to quickly put a bunch in your... That is not a door quickly put a lot in your composters and the bags come in handy too. Okay, so I, I really don't know this area of Moldra, so I don't know this. thought I knew where I might... I, I thought I knew where I was, but I, I don't. Now again, this is standard apocalypse settings. I haven't changed anything. And so that means that any scratch could kill me. And so I try to play with the thought that if I get hit, it may be as good as death. Now, having said that, I don't play the most conservatively. As you see, I'm not sneaking. I don't feel that that helps much. I, I do have the conspicuous trait. Well, I'm getting overrun. 
So this isn't too much. I can still manage some of this. But I might be making my way towards some of these high walls here pretty soon. Because... As you can see, this could get a lot. Without the nimble bonuses, I've got two for being a burglar, plus one with the dimmest. You can see they're already starting to pump up, so I'm hitting and pushing a little bit more just to keep it manageable. Now, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm walking backwards, and I'm not quite sure what I'm walking into. So this gets, at this point more dangerous because I do not want to walk backwards into a big clump of zombies. And just as I say it, there's a new entrance, new visitor, and so I'm going to go to the other side of the street because it looks like things have died down, pardon the pun. And we just started over again. Now my biggest concern is the durability hits that are taking place with my with my rolling pin. So I'm hopeful that I'll find something soon that I can use as a weapon. Now I'm not gonna bother with collecting watches at this point. Because I find that that just feeds into my glute goblin tendencies. I think I recognize the turn in this road here, so... I think I'm learning a little bit more about Muldra. Now, Muldra is the first town I ever spawned into, and I think a lot of people do the same, because it's the default. If you don't select the town, you immediately spawn in Muldra. But, I died pretty quickly and discovered that Rosewood might be a slightly better place for me to go spawn into. Check the mailbox. So this is standard apocalypse. There haven't been a whole lot of zombies benefiting from the game mechanics where there shouldn't be a whole lot that spawn around you initially. And, oh, oh, that is a... That is a good looking house right over there. Maybe we go straight for it. Oh, we get a few more zombies to deal with though. Well, I think that's gonna be worth it. Oh, we got a lot more than a few. I probably should have just hung out in this little area. The boarded up survivor houses are an excellent place when you're in search of weapons. Not so great if you're walking in with a weapon that is nearly nearly destroyed as you can see there are there are zombies inside already do not enter dead inside i don't think any of them have weapons visually they don't show any push this guy down I'm trying to preserve my rolling pin as much as possible. This this little guy over here has apparently decided to uh, just sleep it off. Let's why not have the ability to unbarricade? Do I? I need a hammer for this, don't I? All right, I need more tools to unbarricade. What do they have for us? Cigarettes, okay. I will take that. That will help me with the anxiety that's building since my character is a smoker. Uh, take the chips. Let's see, is anything good in here? I'm gonna check this. I wanna try to remember to look for, well, I guess, look for the emergency broadcast station. No, no, no luck. But a fanny pack, I will take that. All right. I should mark on the map now. It's a little silly for opening this up in the way I have. 
let's put a little exclamation mark over here as that is a house we want to come back to. And there are some friends, little friendos. They, they're so welcoming. Holding their arms out. They just want a hug. They love you to death. Right. While we're standing on them, I don't think they'll get up. Well. Maybe with a little more training, I will be better at this. Oh, there's a party going on over in that house, and I wasn't invited. There it goes. Now I have the weapons condition indicator mod. At this point, it's just probably too many for me to handle, so I'm going to have to back away without a decent weapon. I could go with that knife. Yeah, let's use it. The rolling pin. We got a meat cleaver, kitchen knife. And we'll use the house to get him in line. Okay, well, I think some of them got distracted on the glass windows and so broke into the house and I'll take it so the houses are a great way to distract your new friends and keep them busy okay, we're gonna need to keep looting we need some better gear Now the panic is going to work against me. Oh, oh yeah, that that's that's way too many. That is way too many. So, but I walk a little distance, and let's come over here. I'm gonna try to see if I can break some line of sight with our little friends in the other direction. Now, this is dangerous because I have no idea what's on the other side of that door. I did not check this house out. But I hear some zombies. Now, maybe what I'll do is I'll open this window. Oh, nope, I won't. I'll close it. Oh, those are the ones that I heard. <laughs> okay. All right, well. Opening that window to make an exit also made an entrance. Now, you can outwalk them, which is quite helpful. But early game, outwalking them typically just means you're going to walk into another set of zombies. So, you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both, and then you've had the facts of life. Now, someone's got a screwdriver or something sticking out of them over there. But there's too many for me to be overly excited about. Taking them out. Now, let's remove the broken glass. I'm going to try to duck through this house. Let's see if I can lose them this way. Oh, ammo. Anything good? Searchable? Oh, yes, that's my... Okay. Panic, don't panic. Get out of here. That's... Oh, no, this is the boarded-up house. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get out, get out, get out. How did I survive that? I did not realize... Every other exit was boarded up. So... 
that's a moment of luck. And I thought this, this series was going to be over right away. Now, on that point, because I'm a player in training, this is these are practice runs. This is important to learn, and you learn from nothing more often in this game than you do your own untimely demise. And so if we die, it doesn't mean this is over. That means we apply the lesson. It doesn't mean we're trying to die, no. It just means if that were the end, we would then learn how to recover a body. You can certainly play this game as a permadeath, but I really believe that it's smart to think of this more as a, as a regular Minecraft kind of run where you die, you keep going. So you can gather them up and you can outwalk them. And I've got the panic. I do have beta blockers, but I think that would be a waste of beta blockers. I'm not going to be fighting these right now. He's kind of trying to clear out the neighborhood a bit. I could shout if I really wanted to to keep them all. I'm going to draw them, draw out the ones that I'm missing, like that one down here. I'm just going to walk like a child. <laughs> I'm a parent. I know this is how young children walk, just not in a straight line, just meandering, wandering all over. And this, this always reminds me of trying to go someplace with my kids. Just, except, I mean, not the part with the hungry, slobbering mouths, although that, you know, that certainly could be. I'm hoping if I get them all down here that I've cleared out enough that once I duck over this fence I'm hoping it's going to be okay. There's two sets of fences. Let's, uh, I'm going to chuck up over here. Let's climb. It's very dark. We've got, a, got a one little friendo here manage that. In fact, maybe one of these houses is even better to sneak off into. Let's see. See the closed curtains. Now it's very dark. Flip on a light switch. Let's just add a sheet, close it up, and now I feel much safer in here. Take a quick look. All right, griddle pan. This is a nice early stage weapon. Let's put that on our back. Okay, what do we get for books? First aid, not going to bother with that. Oh, I just realized we got a magazine here. We still have a window right there. Fishing. I'll grab it. And then the comic book might help. Actually, both of these books might help with the agitation that I'm experiencing. I'm not going to worry about setting an alarm. I just want to put my character to sleep, but let's sleep. Oh, and it's raining. It's raining. Now, I have... The mod where you can sit, but only if things are facing in the right direction. Uh, we can turn on the TV and get some benefit of life and living. It's raining, so I'm not particularly interested in rushing right out the door. So let's go ahead and sit down. And I'm going to read fishing. And that's probably a great place to stop as we read the rain away. What a great first episode. We had some close calls. 
we've got the basics of survival down. And in the next episode, we're going to just keep pushing our luck. And who knows, maybe we will eventually get good on this player and training adventure. I'll see you on the other side.